Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Imam Walid Hakim. I'm here in Arctic Norway. We just finished our Taraweeh Salah. The masjid is this way. Yes, uh, and I want to show you the midnight sun. You've heard about the midnight sun before, but I'm actually going to show it to you now, subhanAllah. So this is it right behind me, as you see over here. It's just going to touch the mountain. It will look like a sunset, but at this time of the year, we don't have a sunset. And something else that will shock you, subhanAllah, is that uh, this is this is actually west, right? But the sun is not setting in the west here. Actually, it's not setting at all. It's actually in our north. Why? Because this sun keeps going around the sky in circles. It doesn't set. It just keeps going around in circles all day. And if you look behind me as well, let me see if I could see it here. Something else beautiful I want to show you. Yes, here also, uh, um, here, we have a full moon. So we have the midnight sun, and we have the full moon, and the midnight sun is still behind me here in the mountain. You could see it, subhanAllah. Fa, you know, I'm going to tell you something uh, very impressive, that this, actually, this midnight sun was mentioned in Surah Al-Kahf, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about the story of... Uh, Zulqarnayn alayhi salam and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him abilities to travel as far in the earth in the east and as far in the west and during these uh, travels Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that he went and, and saw some people who Allah did not give any coverings from the sun yes that uh, the people who he arrived they were under the sun and they don't have any covering from the sun. What does that mean, subhanAllah? At that time when it was revealed, uh, the scholars of tafsir have not seen this phenomena because they haven't traveled to these extreme parts of the world. 